For better or worse, LEGO City's police theme is a mess. Year after year, fans are bombarded with police stations, mobile command units, squad cars, and other typical police-related products. Sure, LEGO's current strategy may be satisfying the kid fans they market these products to, but unfortunately, their actions have disappointed plenty of A-Falls and other serious fans, which has led many to abandon their support for the LEGO City Police property. As I mentioned in a previous video essay, The Downfall of LEGO City Police, I think the best way for LEGO to reinvent this line and win back A-Fall support is to bring back police sub-themes, with lines like Swamp Police, or Mountain Police. These properties would not only re-engage A-Falls, who are sick of typical police builds, but also provide kid fans with a completely fresh lineup of police sets. Today, I thought it would be fun to highlight one of these police properties, that being Forest Police, a sub-theme from 2012 that came and went relatively fast. Considering the fact it's over a decade old, it's, in many ways, a forgotten sub-theme. So what do you say we re-explore this forgotten world, as we take a look at one of the greatest LEGO City Police sub-themes to date? Forest Police was released alongside the Forest Fire sub-theme, as in 2012, both the police rangers and firefighters were called into the woods of LEGO City to solve the various issues at hand. For the firefighters, they were there to put out forest fires whereas the police had showed up to arrest a gang of robbers that were hiding out amongst the trees. This sub-theme, made up of seven playsets with one poly bag, saw the cops ditch their typical black suit look with white caps or helmets for a more park ranger-esque fit, with tan jackets, blue pants, and with a different style of hat. Similarly, the robbers also opted for a more country appearance, with some of them wearing red hats, or having an even more tattered look. In my opinion, the change in minifigure appearance really added to the overall look and feel of the Forest Police sub-theme, as it proved that LEGO truly cared about making a fantastic wooded world for this special set lineup. Now, when it came to the seven sets included in this sub-theme, they did not deviate too much in terms of subject matter. Once again, there was a command center, a station, a helicopter, a patrol car, an additional van, and some good old robber-centric sets. While some of you may see this as an issue, I disagree. I think LEGO creating sets that were still able to fit within what is expected for a normal LEGO City Police lineup was amazing, as it proved that LEGO could be creative while still providing products that fans not only expect, but ultimately want. LEGO can give fans unique sets while still creating products that satisfy the demand for typical police products. It's been done before. So what's stopping them from doing it again? With this sub-theme, instead of receiving a typical command center, fans were blessed with the off-road command center, which featured not only a heavy-duty police van, but a trailer carrying a boat, which allowed for the police to easily access the water in order to catch criminals. Additionally, this sub-theme included the heavy lift helicopter, a build which still holds up today. Over the years, there have been many helicopters released under the LEGO City Police line, but none as impressive as this one. Oftentimes, they're released as polybags, or included with a station, or in an action scene set. It's a rarity that fans receive a real deal helicopter like this one, that serves as the focal point of a playset, and I think that's only added to the legacy of this line. Once again, LEGO did put out a police station with this theme, but it was quite different from what fans are used to receiving. Sure, this station included a mini helicopter, a police van, and some criminals, in addition to the forest police. Once more, it contained holding cells and an office. Based on this description alone, this may sound like a normal station, but this was far from just that. Between the trees and inclusion of the bear, as well as the homey look of the station with its masonry, bricks, and wood panels, this station looks nothing like the typical police station we practically receive every year. Again, it shares the same basic traits, but small detail changes, such as the use of different colors, a unique layout, and cool additions like the trees or the radar slash communication tower allow this police station to truly stand out, while still serving as a LEGO police station. Additionally, LEGO did a great job at making sure the robbers and criminals also felt unique to the forest sub-theme. Whether that was the police pursuit containing a police buggy 
and an older pickup truck, as opposed to some hot rod and mini cop car, or robber's hideout featuring a cabin built into the side of a rock formation, along with a police truck, Lego did not forget about giving the robbers their own unique look in this wooded world. Sure, sets like patrol car aren't anything special. It's practically a basic police car. Whatever. And part of me wishes police dog van was a bit more forest-centric. But regardless, forest police overall succeeded in creating a lineup of sets that brought something new to the police property for the first time in years. As time goes on, I think it is going to be important for LEGO to look back in the past and see what they did right when deciding how they want to attack the future. When it comes to the LEGO City Police property, there is no need for LEGO to reinvent the wheel. With simple design changes here and there, LEGO can freshen up this line that has grown stale, while still providing fans with the sets that make up a typical police line. Business was booming for LEGO in the 2010s, and if they want to keep up that success for the rest of the decade, embracing some of what made them special back in the day would be a very smart move. 